Well, I think it's so important to be honest um, to your staff, your players, it, you know, to understand that I may not always tell you what you want to hear, but I'm going to tell you the truth, even though that's hard, whether it concerns playing time, whether it concerns your role on the team, whether it concerns your academics, and just making sure that, you know, we're always on time, uh, we're always doing the things that we need to be doing, and just having a good, honest heart is important. If my heart is in the right place. Well, I think it's very important. You know, I think you have to be, first and foremost, you got to be honest with yourself. Um, you know, did you go out and do everything in practice that you needed to do to make this team and yourself successful? So you look in the mirror, you turn around, and you do something about it. Because it starts individually to come together as we. You know, are you living the way uh, outside of practice that represents this program, this athletic department, this university, the way that, you know, we want it to be represented? And, uh, I think that it starts there, and then you got to be honest with each other, honest with your coaches, uh, honest with the training staff, uh, and, and you know that's that's just the right way to live. And and we've talked about it before. I mean, I think athletics. You know, there's no greater example of of what life is like than than athletics at any level. And some of us fought through adversity. It wasn't a lack of effort, but some of us it was a lack of effort. You want to be around people that are honest, that tell you the truth. And, you know, we're going to be honest with the players and our evaluation of them on the court and off the court. And um, in turn, we have to be able to trust them. You can either choke and run from it, but you know what you do is with great heart, great energy, and great effort. If you know you can trust them, then I think you'd be, you listen to them better and we both can have a, like, be a big family. So I think honesty is real big for the players and the coaches. Your faith has to be important and to respect each other's faith, you know, different backgrounds and where you come from. And, you know, we always talk a lot about, you know, not only having faith, you know, in our religion, but also faith in one another. I mean, when things get tough, when things aren't going our way every day on and off the floor. You know, Coach constantly reminds us that it's so much more than basketball, and she's trying to help us um, to be better women, you know, later in life after this. And a lot of that is with your faith. I think it's nice. Um, we do it before every game, after every game, whether we win or lose. Um, it's just something we do consistently every every single time we play. Um, I, I think it brings us closer together because we know we can depend on each other and we are a family. I just think coming together and sharing, um, you know, your faith as a team is very important. And so when we do pray, it does bring us together as a whole and um, just unites us in a whole nother way. You know, I think loyalty is one of the most important components of, of any relationship, whether it be within your staff, whether it be your players and your staff, whether it be your training staff, your strength staff. You've got to be able to trust one another. And loyalty is, is an important component of any successful organization as there is. So we've got to be able to trust each other and be loyal through good and bad and know that we can always count on each other. It's loyalty to each other. And, um, you know, it's that fox home mentality. Who can you count on when the, when the going gets tough and, and who's going to be there? And, um, are you going to have that person's back and be loyal maybe when they're not around or when no one's looking? And... You got to have the Lady Raiders back all the time. Um, you got to wear the, what's across your chest every day, even if you're not in basketball, just walking around or just with your family. You got to have that loyalty that you're going to do right to the double T and that we need to represent it every way that it in every way every day that it deserves to be represented whether it's being a good role model whether it's working as hard as we possibly can <laughs> don't play for the name on the back of the jersey play for the double T and that's what's important and this team's done a great job with that this year we play for what's across our jerseys not just for who we are and not for nobody else we're playing for Texas Tech when you're loyal to something that's bigger than yourself, um, obviously there's a huge amount of loyalty to the university and to the program, all the people that have gone before us. And uh, every time they put on that uniform, they're not only representing you know, themselves but in, in this team, but they're representing all the players that played here before them and, and all the students that have, that have gone here and graduated, all the alumni. And so 
Uh, I think it's a really big deal, and you know, we we tell them all the time, uh, with privilege comes responsibility, and and I believe that's a big part of the responsibility that they have, uh, not only the former players but the former students as well. You have to respect the game. You have to respect individually each other. You have to respect our team goals. Just respect is so important to our success. I think that those kids have learned that, and I think around here we've all learned that. I think that's the reason why, you know, if you people are successful because they respect the people that are around them. That's why you out there playing. That's why you have a scholarship to play basketball. So you have to respect it. Uh, respect what it brings. Respect what you can bring to the game of basketball. It's, it's just all around respect for the program, respect for those people who've been there done it before you. The opportunity that you've been given to put a Lady Raider uniform on every day, and um, so I think that's most important, and then everything else will take care of itself. I tell our team every day we have a responsibility to do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it the way it's supposed to be done and to just to do the right thing every day both on and off the court whether it be with your family or your teammates or your staff. Let's go represent the double T the second half. I think there's a responsibility when you wake up every day because you you wear Texas Tech across your chest whether you're walking around campus you're in the community or you're on the court you're you're always responsible for that and I think um, it's a great privilege but with privilege comes responsibility. Going to class every day, try to um, listen and do my work, um, come to practice and work on what I need to work on. This mainly to me, uh, um, just going to class, focus on my academics first, and then basketball will come. He throws it to Mallard, right elbow, hard drive into the lane, layup good, nice strong move. Oh, I think we all have a responsibility, whether it be your position on the court, you know, as a guard or a post, um, or your responsibility to, to do your best in the classroom. It's about Get up in the morning and do the right thing. Uh, you know, for a lot of these players, this is the first time that they've been on their own. And so, you know, now mom and dad or, or whoever it was isn't there to say, okay, you know, it's time to get up and go to, to practice or it's time to get up and go to school or class. And Responsibility is, is a big one because you got to be able to take care of things and handle things while being under pressure and stress sometimes and handle adversity and stuff. Mo Smalls, a right wing three, got it! They have responsibility in that, that manner. They have responsibility to their teammates. You know, they, they need to work hard and, and push them. Make a play, do something to make somebody else better in the second half. Let's go! I feel like we have a responsibility to get out and give back to community that gives so much to us. I mean, you know, these kids have to understand that, you know, they're healthy, they've got a full scholarship. You have to give to receive, but I think giving is more important than anything. If you give, if you give, you feel good about yourself and knowing you're doing something good for others. And you know, when they leave Texas Tech, I want them to continue to be ambassadors for this university and you know for this great sport and know that they're role models and they have a lot to to give. And you know, athletes sometimes are often accused of taking, and we want to be givers and not takers. Our goal is to make sure that we're the hardest working team in the country and you know that we're not going to be outworked, whether it's our staff on a daily basis in recruiting, out in the community giving back, on the floor, 94 feet, whatever it be. I mean, just a work ethic that's second to none and a passion and enthusiasm for that every single day. We're, we're going to be the hardest working team in the country. Got to attack. You got to outwork. Let's go. Well, it is a job, but it's a fun job that we all love, but um, just like anyone who wakes up and goes to work from 7 to 5 every day, this is our job. Work hard, be, be an aggressive in all we do, both ends. Don't be passive. Work ethic is so important. I mean, again, you want to be known for how hard you worked on and off the floor. It's about heart and hustle and team and togetherness, and no matter what's going on. All the 10 keys are very important, and, and they each mean a lot, and I think they all kind of intertwine and are connected to each other as well.